Hi everyone, Matt Hayward with Adobe Stock here. I had a great time shooting at Alki Beach. Now it's time for the really fun stuff. Selecting the content that we're going to submit, getting those images processed and uploaded to Adobe Stock. There are a few really simple ways to get your images in your contributor account. I'm going to touch on each one of those methods during this brief tutorial. So I've already ingested my memory cards into Adobe Lightroom and done my raw conversions. I'm a really heavy handed photographer. I took a lot of pictures and so that means I needed to get rid of the vast majority of the files that I shot. You want to make sure that each image you send has its own unique value to any potential buyer. If you send too many photos from the same series that look too much alike, that can be perceived as image spam and that's a bad thing. So you've got to make those tough decisions and only send the best of the batch. So I've created a collection of the images that I do want to submit to Adobe Stock. And if you're a Creative Cloud member, which you don't have to be a cloud member in order to contribute, but if you are, and if you're using the same Adobe ID for your contributor account as you're using for your Creative Cloud account, you don't have to leave Lightroom if you don't want to. You can take a raw file, drag it into the Publish panel under the Adobe Stock icon, and when you click that Publish button, what happens is Lightroom converts that raw file into a JPEG image for you and it uploads it to your contributor account. For the sake of this tutorial, I've just grabbed one image, but if everything in your collection is ready to submit, you can grab all those files and drag them into the publish panel at once and get them all uploaded in one fell swoop. So as soon as this image is done uploading, we get this pop-up that asks if we want to go on to the contributor portal to start selling. We do want to do that, and so I went ahead and clicked yes. That opens up this URL, contributor.stock.adobe.com. It's the contributor portal. And so once it's there, we see the image that we just uploaded, along with a picture of my handsome golden retriever Hudson. Now this photo showed up, and something I want to point out is that I had no keywords embedded in this file when I submitted it. And so when you do that, Adobe Stock recognizes what's in the image, and it makes a recommendation for the first five keywords. That's the auto keywording tool. There's another tutorial that dives only into keywording. I think that's one of the most important aspects of contributing to Stock, but I did want to point out uh, the auto keyword feature. So that's how you upload through, through Lightroom. Bridge is virtually the same thing. You can take a photo, drag it into the publish panel, and that will start uploading. You see the progress bar. As soon as the image has been uploaded, you're going to get an icon asking if you want to go to Adobe Stock, which we do want to do that. And we'll click it. And again, we go into the contributor portal. Now this image showed up and what's different is that I did have keywords embedded here. They say embedded keywords are read automatically. Now those keywords don't describe what is in the image, but they do illustrate my point, which is you can embed your keywords before submitting and the system will read them automatically. You won't get auto keywords this way, but you can save yourself some time and do your keywords in advance. So that's how you upload through Bridge. For those of you that are not Creative Cloud members or if you just don't want to use Bridge or Lightroom, you can just type directly in the URL contributor.stock.adobe.com. This takes you to your contributor portal. If you click the tab at the top of the screen that says Uploaded Files, we'll see the images that we just uploaded, but we want to upload new images. So the upload icon in the upper right hand corner is where you want to go. So you got this big blue circle that says drag and drop files or browse. So if you click the browse link, that'll take you to the navigation tool. You can select any image and upload directly through that. Or what I like to do to upload is use the drag and drop feature. So as you can imagine, you just take an image or images. Again, you can do all the images at once. Drag it into the blue circle, let it go. And that's going to automatically start uploading that image. So that's a really easy way to do it. And then the final way to get your content uploaded into Adobe Stock is through FTP. So if you're uploading photos, really that drag and drop is the way to go. It's pretty straightforward and as long as your internet connection can handle it, you can send as many photos as you want. But if you're sending stock video, you have to use FTP. And so you'll find your credentials under this blue circle. It says learn more. That's when you click that link, that's where you'll find your login ID and your password for your own unique FTP access. So that's how you get your content online at Adobe Stock. My name's Matt Hayward. We'll see you in the next tutorial on keywording. Thanks.